going viral in malls. Facebook is announcing that it's opening nine pop-up shops in Macy's department stores throughout the U.S. This week, this is Amazon Go, plans to have 3,000 brick-and-mortar stores up and running by 2021. A new study by the International Council of Shopping Centers says that that is having, uh, having a brick-and-mortar presence can increase traffic on the retailer's website by an average of 37 percent. Joining us right now is uh, ICSC CEO Tom McGee. Uh, Tom, and of course, that would be the International Council of Shopping Centers CEO. Good to see you, Tom. Thanks very Thanks much for, for joining us on. on a tough morning, obviously, yeah. as we follow this fatality. I've got some prayers with everybody in Southern California. Exactly. And, and, and you are expecting a good shopping season this upcoming holiday season. Yeah, we expect quarter. a very strong holiday season. Our forecast is for 4.5% growth. Uh, you know, strong economy, good job market, good consumer sentiment, uh, you know, uh, results in good retail sales. So so we expect a very strong holiday season. What's behind that? Well, I th obviously those characteristics. I think uh, you know you have a very good job market that leads to demand. Uh, I do think as you lead into the holiday season, and your intro pointed out, you're going to see you know this increasing convergence that's taking place between physical and digital retail. You mentioned some of the names that are opening up stores. Uh, you see a lot of digitally native retailers opening up stores, and, and you see existing retailers really making a much more seamless experience between the physical and digital world. You'll see that very accentuated over the holiday season. We do call it the halo effect. We just uh, uh, produced a report that uh, p provides statistics around this synergistic relationship. If you open up a store, generally your web traffic in that region goes up by 37%. You close the store, your web traffic goes down by a similar amount. So wow. you're really seeing retailers understanding this relationship and stop thinking about there being a digital channel and a physical channel, but really there's one channel called the consumer channel. Yeah, that makes sense. What is the, I mean, it is a striking, that, as you say, you see these remarkable results for, for companies that uh, Amazon is is going down this route, sure. a, a digital company that's opening uh, bricks and mortar stores. And yet at the same time, we continue to see, you know, a big structural shift out yeah. of traditional stores, the troubles that, you know, just this year alone we've seen, you know, whether it's Toys R Us and Sears, you know, the list of major retailers that have been traditional retailers that are really struggling. What's the, so what's the, and, and yet as you yeah. say, you get this, you, you, you do get a beneficial effect on your digital sales from having bricks and mortar. What's going to be the balance between, between uh, hard physical stores and digital stores as we get in the next five, five well, or ten years? I think we're in the middle of a retail renaissance. That's what I really believe. And, I, and those retailers that didn't invest in their physical store network uh, and didn't invest capital obviously didn't succeed. And I think what you're seeing now, and I do believe what you'll see over the course of the next decade, where the last decade was an investment in the digital channel, I think the next decade will be a significant investment in the physical channel. And those that do that well and create a vibrant experience are going to do exceptionally well and have that seamless experience across all channels. Given the news of the morning, another mass shooting this yeah. time in a bar, uh, most recently a synagogue, a uh, nightclub, at a concert in Las Vegas. What have the retailers in this country done to shore up security and make people feel at ease in recent years, even since 9-11? Yeah, I mean, that the industry has taken that very seriously. I mean, obviously, this is a very a serious and sad day. Um, uh, the industry uh, shares and gets together and talks about best practices consistently. Most of the major property owners have gone through certification processes. They coordinate very closely with local law enforcement. Uh, we, they get together in security councils and talk about uh, what each of them are doing to upgrade security across properties across the U.S. So it's a very important uh, issue, one that uh, property owners and retailers take very seriously. Uh, and I think given today's events and the things that have happened over the course of the month will continue to be heightened in our intensity around that. What are you going to be watching in terms of any change in terms of what you're expecting for the fourth quarter? Uh, my expectation is that the fourth quarter will be a knockout quarter. Um, obviously, there's things on the horizon that could impact the economy overall, you know, whether it's tariffs, whether it's, you know, some change in market conditions. But as it relates to the holiday season, I, I see nothing absent some type of unforeseen circumstance that's going to impact this quarter. All right. We'll leave it there. Well, as, as the uh, year develops, we hope you'll come back yeah, on, on a better day, Tom. Yeah. Thanks so Thank much you. for joining us this Thanks. morning. Tom McGee there from the International Shopping Centers.